An increased police presence now at Syracuse University. This following an outbreak of alleged hate crimes on campus this month. Syracuse police also arrested a student in connection with multiple graffiti incidents at SU. 18 year old Kim McGowan was charged with criminal mischief. Authorities, including the FBI, are still investigating several racist incidents, including the distribution of a white supremacist manifesto, a racial slur being shouted at a female student, and additional incidents in which black, Jewish, and Asian students were allegedly targeted. Members of the university community say they're scared and demand action. Chancellor Kent Siverud says law enforcement officials are working to find those responsible but students are calling for his resignation. Joining me now is a Syracuse University student who is a campus reporter for a paper called Campus Reform, Justine Murray. Justine, welcome to Chasing News, how are you? I'm great, thanks for having me. So we saw this video of you being blocked or really thrown out of a meeting. Why were you there and why do you think you got tossed out? Well, Syracuse students have been protesting all week, occupying the Athletic Center, hosting a sit-in, making 19 demands for the chancellor to latch onto. One of the demands include um, a same race rooming option where these students are actually calling for racial segregation. And I was there reporting as a student journalist for Campus Reform with a lot of other reporters from a lot of other outlets, but I was the only one who was identified, targeted, and mobbed simply because of my supposed political views. Do you feel that the adults are in charge at Syracuse campus, or is this just mob rules? I mean, we've got, uh, you know, the uh, the Chancellor Sivaru, seems that he's worried about, obviously, some of these racially charged incidents, but what about the safety of students like you? Right. Well, apparently the safety of students only matter if you're not a conservative student. The only thing that has gotten close to violent have been the protesters pro supposedly protesting bigotry, yet they're promoting bigotry. All right, Justine, listen, thank you for your courage. I really appreciate uh, the strength you've got. Keep us posted as things develop. Yeah, I will. Thanks for having me.